Hey, this is Ife, and I want to know, have you joined our one year Ayurveda challenge yet? If not, hit subscribe so that you can keep updated with what we're doing and all the different recipes that we're trying. All right, it's the start of the new year, and you know what everyone loves to do, goals. So maybe you have thought that you want to do some hair goals, all right? So this is not what I usually do. However, I'm going to help you just in case it's something you love to do, okay? So first of all, think about what do you want to achieve? with your hair this year and it can fall amongst any line of what you want for your hair so for example you might want to just have healthy hair right well that doesn't really mean much does it so perhaps you might think about what do you want do you want healthy hair habits and perhaps I can help you with that maybe your goal might be to do more protective styles whatever your protective style might be for me mine it's more low manipulation hairstyles where I do right now I just do two braids to the side. Sometimes I feel a little sassy and I do four braids, two in the front and two in the back. And for me, that's what I do after I wash my hair and I, I moisturize it. I tend to style it like that. I keep it like that, moisturize it every few days, spritz it, and I'm back to rebraiding it again. So I during the week, I really don't do much manipulation and that might be a goal for you as well. What about keeping up with some internal habits that benefit your hair? So what about drinking more water? Yeah, that's a good one. Drinking more water tends to lead to refreshing your body making sure you have healthier skin and healthier hair so why wouldn't you want to do that for your overall health as well yeah so drinking more water that might be a hair habit or a healthy habit that you might want to incorporate that will eventually do more for your hair as well another healthy hair habit you might want to incorporate this year it's massaging your scalp that improves blood circulation blood flow to your hair follicles improving your scalp care your scalp health and improving the health of your hair as well so massaging your scalp however often you might plan to do it for me I do it three times a week and that seems to work well for my hair what about spritzing your hair more often so for example I used to be really bad with regard to moisturizing my hair often I used to braid it or corner it or put it in a style and then leave it for however long maybe a week or two and not ever spritz my hair and seal it seal it with a butter or oil so that might be a great hair habit or hair goal for you this year might be to Spritz your hair a little bit more often. Give it some more um, moisture. And the moisture would come from water. And then seal it with your favorite butter or your favorite oil. And see how it works for your hair. And all these habits, I want to encourage you to do them throughout the year. Not just for today, just for tomorrow, or just for next week. Really try to incorporate these things over a long period of time. So you, that your hair can see the overall benefits over a longer period of time. What about using more Ayurveda herbs? That might be a great habit you want to continue or even incorporate into your regimen this year. Now, if you have been on this channel for a while, you would realize that we are doing a one-year Ayurveda challenge and you still have time to join us because we only started December 1st and you still have the opportunity to jump in, get your herbs, your oils, your hair oils, your fenugreek hair oil that we made together, the moringa oil, the Ayurveda hair oil that we made together and you can join us on this hair challenge and keep these habits up for one year. So we've been doing really well so far. I hope it's something that you can continue past this one year mark but give this a chance and see how it would benefit your hair okay sometimes when we do talk when sometimes when we think about our hair we think about ourselves but what about our friends our family members what about helping them with their hair now i'm not saying be a natural hair nazi or be a natural hair you know a uh, thug that's so much however what i'm saying is don't bombard them with too much information because dealing with your natural hair especially if you have relaxed your hair for a long period of time going from that to dealing with curly hair it's just curly hair guys it's not hard hair or difficult hair or challenging it's just curly hair okay and going from straightened hair to curly hair tends to be a little bit of a mind switch a mental switch you have to go through and uh, if you want to help your friends and family with that as well that might be a goal that you want to do this year but do it gently take your time because remember when you started with your hair you remember the frustrations you went through you remember the things that were difficult or challenging for you and you now have the opportunity to help someone else just like we help each other on this channel as well all right so if you 
are still relaxed or you're transitioning perhaps now you're thinking okay i have a next step to go through i have to either big chop or start to remove those um, unhealthy ends or more relaxed ends so that you can deal with your full texture now this might be the time that you might do it 2018 might be the year that you go for it so i want to encourage you to go for your natural hair goal with regard to doing your big chop or do go for it you just never know what your hair texture your curl pattern may be you don't know what it is so just enjoy it whatever you decide to do enjoy the process learn your hair so this year as well might be the year that you decide to just learn your hair and learn what you've been missing out on for so long and that leaves me leads me into this really important part with regard to your hair goals and your hair accomplishments to say that you're going to do i want you to okay i'm not going to tell you what to do but perhaps another thing you might consider is just loving your hair more this year accepting your hair for what it is instead of trying to make it something else or trying to help make it become someone else's texture love your hair for the way it was created whatever you believe in whatever creator you talk to you consult with they they know what they were doing you know so understand that you were given this texture of hair embrace it rock it enjoy it love it so this year might be the year that you really finally truly appreciate what you were given and what you were born with all right so you all go out into the world enjoy your hair what do you want to achieve with your hair this year if you've reached this far in the video smash that subscribe button hit the like button if you enjoyed it and see you all in the next one ciao